Welcome to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now. Take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have a special shorter episode with Vanessa talking about her role model, Frank Shorter. I want to talk a little bit about something that happened to me as a kid and Mm -hmm. then again as an adult. When I I was a kid, because we wrote letters back then, I actually wrote letters to Frank Shorter and said, hey, my name is Vanessa and I'm this 200 pound kid and I'm running now on my first race. And he actually mailed me back a signed picture of him at the 1972 Olympics that said, good luck, Vanessa, Frank Shorter. And I have it in my studio still and it hangs up and it's fantastic. Years and years go by. I tore my Achilles tendon. Now, one of the interesting things is we did not know how to run back then. We uh, just ran and we had no sense of anything. I tore my Achilles tendon as a 17-year-old, did not run for almost 20 years, took it up again as an adult, played tennis, was an equestrian. I've always been sports-minded, did a lot of great things in sport, start to run again. I'm at a big expo for a a marathon. I tell this girlfriend, I'm going to go, give me a second. I'm going to go say hello to Frank Shorter. And she goes, you say it like you know him. He doesn't know me, but I know him, right? Sure, yeah. She's laughing. Everybody knows. He's got like, the crowd of people around him. I walk up to him and, you know, he's little. I'm 5'11". He's little. I walk up and I go, hello, Mr. Shorter. I'm Vanessa. And he goes, Bogan home. <gasps> and it was the most surreal moment. And he goes, oh my God, you still run? Look at you. And, you know, with such an, I go, wow, you remember me? And he goes, you wrote me letters, like lots of them. I wrote you back two or three times. And people were looking at us and I said, I can't even thank you enough. But it was amazing. And I told him I got this fitness studio. I have a picture, the picture you sent me that you signed and wished me luck. It hangs in the studio. He goes, wow, that's just amazing. And and yeah, back then we would write people we knew. And if you were lucky, they wrote you back. Frank is an amazing person. I've talked to him on the phone a few times in the last couple of years. We talk about every six months probably. But yeah, wonderful human being. This is an interesting sport where you literally, like you said, you can stand next to your idols. I got to meet Alephine, who won our Olympic marathon trials. I met her three years ago. She mailed me a beanie after the Olympic trials. I mean, talk about how these are our idols and they are regular people. Stephanie Bruce, I stretched out after one of her races she did. These are people that are untouchable to most of us, but in the running world, they do the same things we do. They put those compression socks on and ice their feet and put in those miles to get to that race. This is a very special sport. And you just said it. We put the shoes on, we put the t-shirt on. It doesn't really matter if it's, you know, in the fashion world, Prada, Gucci, Fendi. No, we put the shoes on and we run and we support each other. I think it's also uplifting, right? All my New York friends are runners. It's, it's just amazing the support you have and how deep the friendship goes because You train for the marathon, many miles, many miles together. Martha, I don't know how many miles we did in Central Park together or even in Brazil or in any other places we ran together. It's a friendship forever. It is a friendship. And I think it's an interesting thing about how it doesn't matter where you finish. I think it's such an interesting thing about it doesn't matter if you're super fast and I'm super slow. You know, we wait for each other at finish lines and congratulate each other. I'm not really racing against you. I'm racing against me and what I want to do that day or what I think I can do that day. It's a very different scenario. I ran this morning. I'm ready to run again, listening to you. Let's finish on the high note, but congratulations on the book. We have all the information in the show notes. We want to hear more from you. If people want to reach out to you until next time, until we see each other on a race. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Thanks, Suzanne. Have a great day. Thank you. How inspiring was that? 
we can learn from Vanessa. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday, every Wednesday. Chime in. There's something for everybody listening to runners, entrepreneurs, authors, coaches. Something for you. See you next time.